Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video, we are taking a look at a drone escalation. It's something I received and I don't think I've ever done this before. It's actually called Pulverize the Pioneers. If you're ever looking for these escalations, just go to the agency, exploration, and here the escalations will show up. So we have something called Pulverize the Pioneers pioneers and uh, yeah i really don't know what to expect level difficulty is three so this should actually be very doable and i'm also taking the turtle gila in here massive massive shields also a big advantage of course of this gila is that it can basically uh, tackle all of this content and have this massive buffer which means that if you do end up in trouble then um you will actually know uh, ahead of time. You, you'll have plenty of time to react to that fact. So there is no trace of the ships themselves, but you pick up signals from a score of odd, uh, astrometric probes in the area. Uh, if these were not drones, one could think they were looking for a place to settle. Ooh. Though faint, your instruments manage still to discern the current location of the mysterious group of ships. And so here, look at that. We actually have an Amar Dreadnought. And then here, these drones have been setting up infectious towers. We also have drone bunkers. And my Vespas are currently going after a sentient decimator. Sentient is usually something that could be interesting uh, loot-wise. We're gonna... Oh no, they're not going after him just yet. Let's see what we'll be hunting for next. And we'll start to move. And so far, I have to be honest, I do feel rather powerful. And let's help him out here with the missiles. And then we have the sentient decimator here at the tail end. Will he have some loot for us? Uh, let's press F. Let's also add in a volley of missiles. Look at that damage application, that is pretty good. And here is the loot, 1.2 million, that is nothing too special. And let's see if there's like maybe something else that I need to take care of, a drone bunker. So we are going to try and take that one down. And then we have these infectious towers. That is kind of interesting. I kind of wonder if there's more stuff. Here we get just some debris. I could go for my alt tab. Uh, but we'll try to take down one of these towers as well. Navy Caracal final stage. Let's go look at that. <laughs> so there's just a Navy Caracal floating around here as well. As we are currently cleansing the site from all of these drone things. And then here you can clearly see a revelation in production. So why would there be revelations in production and then a Navy Caracal finals this feels like it's out of line basically not what it should be i don't think it's a problem for me to attack it so let's do that at least my i'm on a green like this so that should be fine maybe it's hiding something i, I, have, I have like no idea if any of this is useful or if it's just go for that sentient a three out of ten so it is normally not a difficult site we can destroy that caracal there she goes so here we go, second sight, we are seeing hmm, some sort of gaseous remains and then a couple of rogue drones on the beacon as well. Let's launch a couple of drones of our own to counter them and let's actually go to combat. So we get some decimators and a sentient raider Alvi that seems to be asking for some reinforcements as we have some hunters. So we're going to go straight after the sentient, I think. Let's see. If my drones can apply well enough to him yeah blah just one shot and i got another signal here so let's maybe use our missiles on the rest see if there's more stuff that comes in and of course if he has loot in the meantime my vespas are going after them as well so let's go take a look at all of this and over here we have just some wrecks. So these uh, rogue drones have basically been going after stuff in here. Um, just some drone synaptic, nothing too major. And well, this is actually pretty easy so far, although we get yet another wave incoming. This is definitely more than the first site that I had to do. And so let's just keep launching missiles at their drone phases silverfish shredder barracuda another shredder right here he's down 
So I've got my number two and my number four launchers are ready. And now over here I should have my three as well. Let's go. And my drones are also spreading out and taking these guys down. Definitely feels a little bit different. Like I'm um, doing a sort of a treasure hunt on this one. And that is down, that is it. I know that there is one escalation that I've seen before that just keeps bringing in more and more stuff and eventually it will go through even something like this Turtle Gila. And now my agency is blinking and we actually have to go eight jumps away again. Let's do set destination and let's get going. Uh, we have Pulverize the pioneers, roaming enemies, and this is unknown. You've triggered a site. Oh, and I didn't read the texts from the uh, signal that we probably uncovered. You triggered, triggered an escalation site in Ivy. Follow the beacon to uncover its contents at your own risk, of course. It's only 3 out of 10, so this should really not be a problem for this... Um, this Gila with lots and lots of shield, does it even say here? Yeah, 26,000 HP in shield, so we should be absolutely fine. And uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of traveling then. This is basically how the escalation for drones seem to work. And that's a nice view. Look at that planet over here. Lovely storm. Uh, no, it's maybe not even a storm planet. Uh, too late. We're gone already. Uh, is it planet can't even go and take a look at it that way uh, but if I'm not mistaken these these blue plants potentially can make you some really nice PI stuff they're decently rare so they are valuable and uh, we get to travel apparently through a Mars space for well unfortunately quite a few jumps so this is not uh, the escalations that I for instance experience with the Sanja uh, those are pretty straightforward for instance the refuges they escalate into the 3 out of 10 which is just a one site in one location now most of them are going into um, uh, low sec unfortunately this one so far is sticking to high sec and it turns out that my reprocessing is constantly under attack so we're getting mails from that and who is attacking that blood raiders the blood raiders are back in the tal current shield level 95 percent uh, okay, I think it will be fine, but I'm not sure. This is also the third mail that we're getting here. So the Blood Raiders are going after my installations in detail. Well, let's hope that it doesn't escalate. I mean, even if they get through my shields, we get timers and things like that. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but this shows the danger of forward operating bases. They can pop up in your home system and then those patrols are very aggressive even towards my structures or your structures there um, I've had this happen before never this intensely though uh, it's never been a problem but let's let's keep an eye on it while we fly towards our next destination and so this is gonna be site number three in this pulverized the pioneers I did record the first one but I also had um, some uh, some background noise problems so we'll probably skip that and then we'll see what happens here um 26 in local that's all looking okay and yeah i actually have no idea where i'm heading uh relative to detail which is now already 11 gems out definitely a disadvantage so far of this escalation is that it is taking you potentially quite far away from your home system not a problem for people that like to live nomadically, but for people that have these home bases, it is different. On the other hand, this feels a little bit like a treasure hunt, which makes it interesting. You're also going through lots of systems. Look at that, like a purple uh, sun back here. Definitely a unique vibe, something that uh, you don't see that often. Look also how that light moves. That is... That's a very, very good looking star. I'm actually pretty damn impressed by that. As we get some bounties for, for, for uh, tackling these rogue drones. And we get to just fly around in this, in this Testudo, in this brick tank with massive, massive shields. And that looks an awful lot like an ice planet. And these do look good. I, I have to say, playing in 4K is a lot of fun. This does look really amazing. 
uh, EVE Online is such a beautiful game. So we've got a couple more jumps to go here. Look at the difference in feeling. Oh man, we start right underneath a planet. Probably an oceanic planet if I look at this one. And then we get a completely different star and vibe here. Bright blue. Very cool. Looks so different. And that is of course uh, something that in my general exploration uh, experience where I just do my sit rounds and hunt for those very best sites. That is something that I do uh, miss and, and that this is providing at this point. New discoveries, places that I haven't been before, taking me all over the place a little bit, enjoying the scenery. Uh, it, it does look very, very nice. And down here we get a little bit of reddish, so it could be that this is... Um, part of the Minmatar Nebula and I'm back here very warm again bright golden star and we often have yeah look at that gas planet with rings around it right under the gate that does feel pretty nice and um, we're flying through space heading towards our destination sometimes EVO line does take some patience as well it's not all about uh, super efficiency you gotta enjoy the small moments as well and yeah that nebula right there i mean it's probably the amar one from a different side um, but it has that reddish part there which could indicate minmatar space as well i honestly don't really know where i'm at exactly it does look very impressive like this and this is back to a blue whitish star and that that background looks so really so cool and that's that's gonna be i think the galente one look at that nebula uh, a bright blue center looking a lot like a diamond and then surrounded by that big cloud very very cool and then from here, can I see my route in space? Oh, I may have disabled that. Uh, which just adds to the mystery. So we're gonna leave that. But normally you also have like a line that goes from here to the next star. And again, it starts to feel darker, redder, more in line with Minmatar space. Am I closing in on that? <laughs> Look back there. So cool. Ivy, let's go. Let's get in here. So that is that and then we don't have a warp to from here so I do have to open up the uh, escalation tab in the agency in order to get there and then we'll be warping down as we have a vertical sun here with a little bit of green as well. Let's see what we can find here and what we have to do. So the third one, all right. Pretty long warp into the unknown. Quite busy here. Look at all these Atenors and Asbel as well. Almost every system these days does seem to have its own... Um, its own... I mean, we have a sentient silverfish back there. And there's definitely a bigger welcoming committee. Uh, I'll use the kinetics as well for this one. Ooh, research drone. Never seen that before. And then some more regular stuff. Let's see in which order we want to take that down. Maybe not the research drone, but we'll start with some of those generic uh, decimators. Like basically defending drones or something. I've never seen this before. Honestly, another like gaseous remains here that looks like an old satellite or something. And uh, the drones are just taking all of this stuff over. Uh, these are... Oops, and I should really launch my drones. Not that easy to destroy, but although my missiles are doing a pretty good job. And uh, my guys are going straight after the research drones. Alright, let's send the missiles on the sentient Alvi. First volley, he's halfway down. Drones are fine. Shields are more than fine. Okay, uh, let's see if I can... If there's any loot in here. You don't remember having seen such a large and rapid swarm of rogue drones before. Luckily, they were gimpy as heck. You wonder what they were trying to defend in such a desperate manner. Throwing themselves at you wave after wave until we were, they were all obliterated. The signal is weaker, but it's still there. So we're still basically chasing this escalation. We're going to leave this one behind, I think. Let's see here. And now set destination, another 11 jumps to do. 
that's actually pretty far away again um, and this does start to feel like we, we will get to the end of this one uh, but I may just stop the recording here and uh, pick back up later down the line when we actually get there this is actually the fourth site that I'll be doing we've got some more rogue drones here all of them so far have looked a little bit like this except for the very first one and oh man that looks like a pretty interesting object let's see if we can handle this I am running this in the turtle Gila main reason is I don't really know what to expect from this site and um, the advantage that I have here is that we of course have this massive shield buffer which means that if we get into trouble we are pretty easily able to uh, we do get full hits there okay uh, we are pretty easily able to get out of dodge before we get into any real trouble so we've got some more splinters infester splinter alvi here again and then we get a couple of researchers Let's uh, try to take care of these guys. Any loot that's noticeable at this point? No, just Rex. And let's take a quick look at that Dead Space Particle Research. Now, that is pretty cool. Look at that. That looks very unique, very interesting. Something that I haven't really seen before. Let's uh, launch some missiles at this guy as well because it looks like my drones are mostly missing and he's actually pretty tough. Let's go with a full set of missiles then. We want to take this guy down. My drones are much better equipped to take down these destroyer types. Um, so there we go. That's the one shells that we're looking for. And at this point I'm actually going to do a quick reload because I still don't know what to expect next from this site. So there go my Vespas up one shotting another one of these guys and yeah this is rather unique looking all of them tiny tiny little sites so far so we're maybe going to fly back towards the middle of this one our reload is still going and that's a silverfish alvi that should go down there he goes and then we still have that barracuda as well um, shield wise yeah we are doing just fine 98 percent that's the best that they can manage poor little drone is getting beaten up by my drones there we go next wave shatterers reapers some more silver fish some some of those very small ones so this is definitely a choice that i i, I think i want to make at this point we're going to go for the destroyers with uh, this and i will try and see if these missiles are basically enough to tackle these uh, these smaller silver fish lv and so my drones hit really well on the destroyer that one is going down as well and my missiles are so far doing fine on the smaller stuff so this is pretty good shows that when it comes to combat you do have a little bit of versatility with the Gila as well your drones for the bigger targets and your missiles for the smaller targets there we go we have a dismantler alvior never heard of that Let's go. My drones are already taking care of that. And then we have a logistics overseer. The drones transport were easy prey. Um, so I'm going to head towards... Oof, Jesus. Honestly, this looks pretty cool and unique as well. Oh, man. Look at the oversized guns. Or, well, it's, it's probably like some sort of salvaging stuff. No, it's guns. It's actually guns on that one. That was pretty impressive as well. And does it hold any loot? Let's go take a look at that. Return these guys to drone bay. It looks like it. And how far away is it? 12 kilometers. So the drone transports were easy prey after you had previously wasted most of their escort ships. You wonder what they were doing here in the middle of nothing and conclude that the only plausible reason is that you must have intercepted and destroyed a new rogue drone colony in the making do i have further escalations here exploration escalation so that is it this is actually the end of this one so that was uh the fourth site that i had to do and this ought to be the loot then of the rogue drone escalation called pulverize the pioneers um this does look very very cool you get some unique sites 
And of course, you get to do quite a little bit of traveling, which is um, an advantage and a disadvantage. And we just get some take two salvage. That's honestly a little bit disappointed, uh, disappointing for the amount of uh, of time you have to spend through this one. Uh, but okay, there we go. That is this escalation. And now I'll be heading back home. How far away from the tell did we end up? 17 jumps. So we do have to do quite a little bit of traveling in order to get back there. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time.